Hello, I'm Angela Wamboy, and these are the stories making headlines on Capital TV. President Uhuru Kenyatta has directed any top government official named in a confidential report prepared by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to step aside. The head of state has tabled the confidential report, which is now annexed to the address he made at the National Assembly this afternoon. He further directed that even those within the other arms of the government, the legislature and the judiciary mentioned in any corruption racket, resign amid cheers by members of parliament. Those set to resign include cabinet secretaries, principal secretaries, as well as state corporation chiefs who are being investigated for corruption. He has called on the investigating organ to ensure the director of public prosecutions, Kariako Tobiko, receives the report for necessary action as soon as possible. Let it be known that today I draw the line. No one will stand between Kenyans and what is right in the fight against corruption and other monstrous economic crimes. As a consequence, I also hereby direct that all officials of the national and county governments that are adversely mentioned in this report, whether you are a cabinet secretary, principal secretary, or chief executive of a state institution, to immediately step aside pending conclusion. President Kenyatta also took up one of the recommendations from the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission and apologized for any atrocities committed under past governments. President Kenyatta offered an apology for the 2008 post-election violence, the Wagala massacre, the Nyayo House torture chambers, and for the unsolved murders of historical greats such as Tom Boya to applause. He also announced the setting up of a 10 billion shilling restorative justice fund over the next three years, a day after receiving a report on the 2008 post-election violence from the Director of Public Prosecutions. And in the light of the DPP's assessment that the majority of the 2008 post-election violence cases cannot be successfully prosecuted, President Kenyatta said the fund will act as reparation. To move forward as one nation, I stand before you today on my own behalf, that of my government and all past governments, to offer the sincere apology of the government of the Republic of Kenya to all our compatriots for all past wrongs. I seek your forgiveness and may God give us the grace to draw on the lessons of this history to unite as a people and together embrace our future as one people and one nation. EGG Pay is a new service from Nairobi City County aimed at making life easier for residents. You can now pay your parking fees with EGG Pay conveniently with no hassle. No more hide and seek with parking attendants. No more tickets. No more bribes. To pay your parking fee with EGG Pay, first create your e-wallet if you haven't. Dial star 217 hash. Enter your details as prompted and create your e-payment pin. Top up your e-wallet via M-Pesa or Airtel Money using business number 147147 and your phone number as the account number. Finally, you can pay for your parking by dialing star 217 hash. Select two for parking. Select either one for daily. Enter vehicle registration number. Select your closest area number. Select vehicle category. Confirm payment transaction. Confirm your EGG pay pin. Then await a text message for confirmation. The process will take you just five minutes, but will go a long way in making your life easier. For more information, go to epayments.nairobi.go.ke or call 0788-200-000. EGG Pay means your right to expect service. EGG Pay. Malipo kwa urahisi. Welcome back. On the economic front, the head of state noted the improved power generation through the harnessing of geothermal energy. 
He said Kenya also made significant progress in oil, gas and mineral sector, which has raised Kenya's economic status. He said his government will ensure the growth trend continues with the focus on Kenya becoming the leading investment hub in the region and the continent. Ernest & Young's attractiveness survey for Africa for 2014 placed Kenya among the three top investment destinations in sub-Saharan Africa and the most preferred in East and Central Africa. Inflation has been contained at single digits, capping the price of basic goods for Kenyans. Interest rates are falling, allowing Kenyans to access credit for their businesses, homes and farms. The exchange rate is stable and the public debt sustainable, reflecting my administration's sound fiscal and monetary uh, policy management. Furthermore, the implementation of programs and projects that drive our growth are proceeding apace. The recently concluded 3.5 billion shillings housing finance rights issue has recorded a 157% oversubscription. The one for two offer at 30 shillings per share attracted bids worth 9.01 billion shillings. The bank was seeking to raise 3.5 billion shillings through offering 116.7 million shares. Mount Kenya Holiday Homes and Golf Resort is a breathtaking development located in Narumoru, Nyeri County. The development was awarded the Best Gated Community Development Award in the 2014 East African Property Awards. The development is situated on a five-star golf resort and is made up of 95 holiday homes, each on half an acre. Other attractions include a nine-hole executive golf course, a clubhouse, forest conservancy, and recreational area for homeowners and guests. They make an ideal investment opportunity with high rental income potential through managed renting to local and international tourists. Easy payment options available with installments pre-arranged at the time of signing the agreement. Mount Kenya Holiday Homes and Golf Resort. In the world of sports, Two-time World Cross Country Senior Woman Champion Emily Chibet is under no pressure to win a third title come Saturday. Speaking to Capital FM on Thursday, Chibet, who won gold in Poland in the 2010 and 2013 editions, said she is keen to help her team, as opposed to going for individual honors. And that's a wrap-up of the day's top stories. I've been your host, Angela Wamboy. For more on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV.